Welcome back to TK Tennis. So this is a review of Toro Line Super Toro. This is a string that I've been using on and off for six months um, extensively. I've used it in tension ranges ranging from all the way from 42 all the way up to 61 and many tensions in between. So at this point, I feel like I have a great understanding of and what this string does well and maybe what it doesn't do so well. So let's jump right into the attributes of Toro Line Super Toro. So moving to the control attribute, it gets an excellent on control. Um, like any high quality poly, we use polys because we want control and Toro Line Super Toro is no different. So it has outstanding control characteristics. Moving on to spin potential, um, it's very good to high. So it's not the highest category. So if you notice, I have it highlighted uh, in yellow, very good and partially in high. So it fits right in between that category. It may not have as much spin potential as a four-sided poly, let's say like um, Hyper G or even Wasabi. But if you are a spin player, this will certainly accentuate your spin to some degree um, and you'll enjoy this, this string very much. Snapback, like most Toraline strings, um, this is a very slick coded string and snapback is excellent. The strings always return back to their default position Moving on to the power category, it's nothing really much to talk about here. It doesn't have any low or excessive power characteristics. It's pretty much normal for most polys have that sort of normal. I don't find really any poly to be have exceptionally more power than one versus the other. High power category in my mind is reserved for those multi-filaments and gut strings that naturally have more power. Durability, it gets a high. Um, I typically break strings every seven to eight hours if it's a high quality string and this is no different uh, So it gets a high in that category Tension maintenance is normal to high Unlike some polys, let's say like Alu Power, which gets a little mushy pretty quickly and even Yonex uh, Polytor Pro after a couple hours they get pretty soft and their tension maintenance in my in my mind is is pretty poor the tension maintenance on Super Toro is really quite close to excellent. Um, it gets mushy or a little soft on the last hour of play, maybe the last hour and a half of play. But compared to any other poly, this holds its tension as good as pretty much anything out there. In terms of feel, the best way to describe Super Toro is has a crisp and lively feel. However, that applies to players who are pretty big hitters or advanced players. If you're an advanced player, you're going to really like this string and like that crisp feeling. However, if you don't accelerate through the ball as much and you're like a 4 or 4-5 or player that's not a big hitter, you may find this string to be harsh, particularly in those tensions that range between 50 and 60 pounds. This string can play a little harshly for a lot of players in that 50 to 60 pound range. So if you want to try Super Toro and you're not highly advanced, let's say college level player, at least 5.0 or higher, I would say string this below 50 in the mid 40s to 50 because you're going to want a little bit of plushness and I don't think you're going to like that ultra crisp feeling. However, if you're a really strong player, you're going to love it. Um, that's why I give it an overall grade of an A. It's a highly performance string if you're a great player and it gets an A rating from me. However, if you're a little bit lower level player or you just don't hit that big, you're probably gonna more see this as more of a B or a B minus string. So I don't think the string is for the masses. I think this is for the highly advanced players. So in summary, Super Toro is one of my favorite strings on the market, but that really only applies if I'm playing well and striking the ball really, really well or playing indoors. Uh, when your environment is controlled, everybody plays better indoors, you can strike the ball more cleanly, this string really plays well indoors. However, when you're outside in the elements, um, it can feel harsh and it doesn't play as well in my mind. So it, it exhibits an excellent balance of liveliness and a crisp, clean feel, but lower level players may prefer a slightly softer string and highly advanced players will likely find it to be highly performant. It's really simple with the string. The better the player, the more you will like this string. Would I use it again? 100%. I've been using it a long time. Um, I'm trying to move to strings that are a little bit more plusher because I don't strike the ball like I once did. So sometimes I like something that's a little more pocketing, a little softer. But it, it's there's no doubt, there's no denying that Super Toro is an excellent string for that higher caliber player. It is a demanding string. I think that's the easiest way to say it. It's a demanding string that requires 
um, a pretty advanced player to be able to handle the strength. That applies to Wasabi as well. I would say Wasabi is maybe even a little bit more demanding, but it's very much on that same realm of these strings are excellent performing strings, but for high level players. And I know all of us want to think that we're better players maybe than we are. And, but the fact is for the masses, I don't think the masses will love this string. I think there are other strings that have that are a little softer and more plush that many people will enjoy more than this. So while it's an A, it's an A for certain players, but it's not an A for other players. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. And if you can like this video and subscribe, that would be fantastic. And I will see you in the next days. Thanks for tuning in.